there are often more than one way to create a geometry in SolidWorks. This is not one of those times. This is a counter gear to a spherical gear that can rotate in a 360 degrees. Once you use this feature, you can create this. Anything apart this feature, you cannot create a spherical gear, period. Like, I will teach you this feature. After that, I will give you some guidelines how to go forward with this. Trust me on this. Stay till the and let's watch okay i'm gonna quickly break down this video before i sit down and recreate this i want to create a simpler model so you learn how variable pattern works okay this is the simple example we have a normal extruded shaft and we have this drawing over here if you look at my drawing this 10 defines the width or the size of my hexagon i don't care about it this one is important this is the center distance between the hexagon and the side surface of the shaft 10. If I increase this, it would move forward. And this 60 degrees, which is the angle between this line, this edge of the hexagon, and this flat surface on the back. What do we want to do? First, I want to perform one revolve cut, and that would be the results of it. Just for the sake of the comparison, if I use the center axis of my shaft, if I use linear pattern, I can create multiple instances of the exact same revolve cut. Now, this is a linear pattern, and it just patterned that feature, revolve cut, linearly. Now, variable pattern could be similar could be different. Let me just show you. If I use variable pattern instead, I can pick the same revolve cut and I also get to change its the drawing as I create new instances. For example, I'm going to pick the sketch and then create pattern table. Over here, I get to pick the dimensions that I want to play with as variables every time I create a new instance. For example, I want to move the distance, so I will click on this 20, which is the center distance, and this angle, 60, right? Now, these two variables can create a new table, new row for it, and assign new values to them. So this 20 next time should be 40, and the 60 degrees should be 90 degrees. I wanted to rotate 30 degrees every time I create a new instance and perform a revolve cut. So let's just add three more rows and do 60 and do 120. And we want to treat this like the Excel table. We can do so. If it didn't work and it just worked for the first column, you're going to have to do the second column again. I don't know why it does this, but update preview. This is what we get. So look at this. This is not quite the same as the linear pattern. If you look at it, the cross section changes. Over here, we have a V shape. We have a flat line, another V, another flat, another V, because it's rotating 30 degrees at a time. And since our profile is a hexagon, it repeats itself every, every 30 degrees. If I go and change that and edit the table instead of 30, I go to 75, 90, 105, is it? Yeah, 120 every 15 degrees and update it. It would give us these odd geometries. Look, 15 degrees of rotation and they vary. So variable pattern. And it's not only for linear pattern and things like this. Now it's time to create this complex. This is probably the most satisfying component I've ever made in the past 17 years I've been working with SOLIDWORKS. If you look at it, let me just actually show you on the screen because it's much more clear. If you look at it, it looks like a mesh component due to all these segmented lines it has on it, but it's just for using variable pattern. Look at it. It looks like an imported component from an STL file, but it's not. It's made in SOLIDWORKS and it has so many lines. And it's funny, it took me only four features here, only four features, one revolve, two revolve cuts, and one variable pattern to create this. Can you create this geometry using four features only? The only way you can do it is variable pattern. And it's not one of those times that there are multiple ways to come to the result. No, there is only one way and that's variable pattern. So if you want to learn how to do this, you're going to have to listen carefully. To create this, we need to create the spherical gear. But since this is not the focus of this video, I'm just going to explain to you how this one is made. This is a normal, very normal spur gear that is being revolved around its axis like this. Let me just show you instead again. Assembly, open. Look at this. The sketch we had is just a normal spur gear. Just insert your spur gear, create a sketch on top of it, revolve it around its axis, and it would give you this, right? Then we use the same sketch, rotate it 90 degrees, and revolve cut it around this one. This is the sketch. Yeah. 
the inverted one. We use this one, use a revolve cut, and it would give us this. Now we'll go back to this counter gear over here. We're gonna have to use this one to create this one, and it would give us the first revolve cut, which is here. So this sketch was revolved cut once and it gave us only this geometry, only this. This is what we start. Then what we want to do here is to perform this revolve cut, but not at the same location. We want to, let me just take a screenshot of this. Let's go to the whiteboard. Assume this is our whiteboard. Okay, this is our axis, right? Let's go red. And this sketch is rotating around this axis that's coming out of it. What we want to do is to perform this revolve cut here, then move circularly in this direction around the axis that goes through this component, three degrees at a time. And not only we want to do that, but we also want to, using a different color, green, rotate the sketch around this axis 1.5 degrees at a time. So let's just write it again like this and perform revolve cut. So we want to take this to next step and we have to perform three steps every time. Step one, three degrees counterclockwise. The sketch moves that way. Step two, orange. Step two, 1.5 degrees again, counterclockwise, which is this axis, do that. And step three, how many times did I say three? Revolve cut, revolve cut. So that's what we wanna do. We want to move our sketch three degrees counterclockwise, just don't do anything yet. Then we want to rotate it, not move it around the component. If you think of our sketch as planet and think of the white component, the gear we wanna create as the sun, this is how we would do it. We wanna move the planet three degrees around the sun, wait there, Rotate it 1.5 degrees around its axis, axis of the planet, perform one revolve cut, move it three degrees around the sun, turn it 1.5 degrees around itself, perform another revolve cut, and do this 120 times until 120 times of three degrees, we cover one full round of 360 degrees. So this revolve cut has to be done 120 times. And while it's happening, this sketch is rotating 1.5 degrees around itself. So the revolve cut varies every time. And the only way to do this is to do it with a variable pattern. Now go back to SOLIDWORKS. I hope this one made it simple. Okay, now we performed the first revolve cut moving the sketch. This is the sketch. This is the first revolve cut. It has been moved three degrees. This is the horizontal line. And this is the line that is moved up three degrees. And if you pay attention here, we have the 1.5 degrees here and it has rotated 1.5 degrees. The next time it rotates another 1.5. So let's just recreate this variable pattern. We go to variable pattern. We pick the feature we want to pattern, which is this last revolve cut. We open it and select its sketch, create a new table pattern. We want to select three degrees as the first variable and 1.5 as the second. And we need to insert 120 20 rows. The first three rows are, so the first two rows are nothing. So basically we have to add 121 rows, I guess, minus two, 119. Oh, why so many? We only need 121 because minus two is 119. The first revolve is already in place. So plus one again, 120. Okay, so three degrees, then we go to six, then we go to nine, then we go to 12. And we treat this like the Excel table. We grab this corner and we drag it down. Or if you're working on a project that is considerably larger, you could come here, export this to an Excel file, fix it in the Excel file, and then import it back here. It works the same. I can't even do that, but that would be like teaching Excel. Over here, we go 1.5, 3, 4.5, 6. So 1.5 at a time, we drag these all the way down here. So. 357 degrees. The last one is the 360, which is already in place. Update preview. It might take a few seconds depending on the PC. Right, we can see the preview. Look how many revolve cuts of overlapping, how many overlaps are in place. And when we click OK, we get the result that we want. So this variable pattern should open the door for you to create a lot of geometries that otherwise would be impossible, not difficult, impossible to make. So this is the result. 
Now I would like to take an opportunity to tell you about my course and it has helped over 1600 students for the past four years it has been around. It's a premium course that has over 125 sequential videos and it comes with a full on support that answer your questions the same day once you enroll in the course. It has hundreds of certified people who enrolled as beginners and landed big jobs as head of designers at Jaguar and elsewhere and they have left reviews so you can see some of these reviews on the screen or you can go to Trustpilot or my forum and read it yourself and for the first time ever about 30 days ago I decided to reach out to more people so I extracted the beginner module of my course which has about 20 videos and I made it free put it in the SolidWorks accelerator community and gave all the tutorials and support that comes with it for free people started to come in and in about 30 days I have 1197 members 88% of them are active and I decided to stop this because I could not support everyone my notification bell icon it's not 36 it used to be 600 and something so there is a waiting list now it is still free and the link to that is in the description below this video I'm telling you if you want to start with SolarWorks and learn it the way I teach it go there click on the link reserve a seat okay maybe you get in today maybe tomorrow maybe a couple of weeks from today but nevertheless you will be in and it will be free there is just a waiting time lastly thank you very much for watching my video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so because it would help me reach this video to other people like yourself who have this kind of issues i make a lot of boring videos in the world that everybody is just making snappy quick interesting scrolling videos so i think subscribing gives this video a chance to be seen more often by people who need it well thank you very much if you want to watch more content on my channel click on the video on the right and if you want to watch even more click on the video on the left and i see you soon